well, Dave, once again, we're talking after a game where you lost by fine margins, one goal again in it. But do you think your side were a bit naive maybe in that second half? Um, I thought we made poor decisions that ultimately give a side that are good at set pieces an opportunity to put set pieces in our box and then we don't defend them. Um, again, you look at the first half performance, there was, again, there was a confidence, there was a belief by us, which... which um, which increased, and it always is going to increase when you when you go in front. Um, and, and I think we made very few, if any, mistakes in that first half. Yeah. We got one, maybe Ben has one where he, he fumbles one that you get away with a little bit. Um, the second half, the first ten minutes was um, not littered, but had poor decisions in, poor decisions to make a tackle and give a free kick away when there was no need to. Um, another poor decision um, on the side of the pitch which gives another free kick um, the goal listen you can you can feel sorry for yourself and go look as a, as a shot from 20 yards it deflects and then goes in the top top of the top of the net um, but ultimately that's about, about, about us um, switch off from the free kick goal, ball ends up in your net corner don't do our jobs ball ends up in your net um, and then that becomes the challenging bit then because you need a you need a calmness around how you how you go about things. We've had listen, we've had good opportunities and good situations um, at that end to score more than what we did. But we should, again, we can't be in a position where we're having to score three goals. I've said it. I'm, I'm, I'm repeating myself um, with the goals that we're conceding, and th them goals aren't through collective poor defending. And the majority, if not all, the goals this year that we've conceded haven't been through poor collective defending, they've been through individual mistakes and poor individual um, individual errors um, and that's something that has to be eradicated. Will you reflect though in a positive manner on the first half today because you, you scored, I think it's the first goal they've conceded in four and a half hours of football and they didn't have a shot in the first half, the top scorer is in League 2 and you scored when you were on top in the game and that's something that ha hasn't happened in, in recent weeks so there were positives to take in the first 45. The first 45 minutes was was great, like I say in terms of um, in terms of how we went about it, in terms of our application, attitudes, spot on and you could really see um, I suppose a, a togetherness and an eagerness to if somebody did miss a tackle or defection went against us, we reacted really, really well. We hunted in, 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 in packs, we won the ball in good areas. We, we probably should have been more in front than what, than what we were. Um, not that we had glaring opportunities, but we had situations where we could probably make better of them. Um, so yes, of course there's positives. At the, at the moment it doesn't feel like there's any positives because you half an hour after after the game when again we've got nothing nothing from um, and you can look at it and go probably deserved something once again we're saying the yeah. same the same things over and over again um, and individual mistakes have mean that um, we don't um, which is like I say it, it, it's disappointing it makes you angry it's concerning it's all those things um, and we I keep saying it we have to learn from it that learning needs to take place very, very quickly. Was there a change in your approach today? I know you've talked a lot about playing out from the back, but today with Kyle as a lone striker, you seem to be quite direct at times today. You were mixing it up a little bit more today. Was that a deliberate change in your approach? We, we, wanted, we knew that they'd potentially press against us. Um, so I would love to have more control. I think, listen, we're not going to go away from what we are. We want to be a team that gets the ball into wide areas, gets crossed in the box and gets bodies in the box. Mm. And our counter press is probably the strongest part of our part of our game. Um, so certainly early in the game, um, against the wind as it was, we knew that we could afford to be playing in their half of the pitch and up the pitch. I'd like to have, like I said, more control. I think we could have. But I understand why there's that little bit of... Um, not reluctance, but a little bit of edginess to be able to, to be able to do that. Second half, you, you hope that that would be the case, but the start of the second half in terms of the first first ten minutes really take the game away from you, and, and then the game plan has to change. Even within that, I think. Listen, and again, I keep saying I understand why we've got to be better. We've got to be more more composed and use the experience we do out there to get off on the ball and not play it, make it a game that we don't really want to play. It doesn't really suit us. It doesn't massively suit us going back to front. If we're going to play into into what's then it needs to go in with, with quality. Too often we just hoik balls forward in a desperation. That desperation brought us a couple of opportunities, but I think we can be better in their moments. 
I know you don't want to be chopping, changing your team, but you're going to have to again next weekend because Aki Wright got sent off today. What do you make of that red card? I don't think it's. A, I, I, if you're looking at on the on the, the grand scheme of things, you could say is is it a foul and is it a yellow card? Well, potentially it is, but. If that's a, a yellow card, and if you were looking at being lots of fouls, a yellow card, there's loads of yellow cards should have happened in, the, in that game. So you look at again, without saying too much, sauce, and their number five gets booked. Well, what did they get booked for? Handbags? Well, the number five elbowed Ben, and it's very clear, you can see on, on a video, but he doesn't get booked for that. The number 10's come on and made probably seven fouls in the first five minutes, and doesn't get anything, anything done around that. Um, and then, for me, You'll go. It's a foul. It's a foul. If he if he's, if he's booked every player through the course of the game and given a yellow card for every foul, then it's, then fine. Be consistent yeah. with it. I don't think I don't think it is. Um, but again, we're victims of ourselves because we're in comfortable possession. It's a rubbish pass, and, and Aki gets himself in trouble. You've got a full week now with the players on the training ground. Is, is it a week you feel you need now? Um, I'm not sure, but you, like I say, particularly either. You, you ultimately want the games to all of your preparation through the week all culminates for three o'clock on a on a Saturday. Um, so for me, all the stuff we we do through the week only prepares us for that. The the, the bit we're having problems with at the minute is the is the is the Saturday is the is the game stuff yeah. and being able to to trust ourselves and trust each other to make the right decisions um, and do our jobs for 90 minutes we, we've not done that and um, that's again that's not a good recipe in terms of those individual things yes we're getting punished for them so what we, we don't expect to be uh, lucky do we and um, and if people make mistakes at the other end we've got to make sure we're, we're punishing them we're certainly getting punished and probably not punishing other people enough and that's resulted in us being not in a great position not started how we want to start um, and plenty of work to do you must feel encouraged though by the fact that you're well in the game. You almost got an equaliser with Miles, who you brought on late on, and he almost scored as well. And the fact the fans, 600 odd, had stayed with you too. Well, listen, I, I'm not sick of talking about the fans because the fans are brilliant. Um, I feel really disappointed, and I'm, I'm, I'm sick of saying it that we send them home um, again as disappointed, if not more disappointed than what, than what we are. Um, and that's the that's the hard bit. They've been they've been great. They travel in the numbers. They support the team. Um, I, I could completely understand them going away from the team a little bit, but not been absolutely fantastic. Um, and like I say, from my perspective, I certainly feel like I owe them something, and we owe them something. I know the players do, um, and we'll do everything to make sure we, we can. And, and that's the case next next Saturday, actually. Appreciate your time, Thanks, Dave. Cheers, John. Thank you. Thanks.